Jimmy Joe here, joining me on commentary. We just saw Joshi or Yashi playing against Kiro in the winner's bracket. Nice. So who took that one, Kiro? I'm guessing? Oh, good, Robert. Get it, get it. Uh, Robert has returned. I'm back. We got low Yashi. Yeah, yeah, Yashi took game one. It was a three stop. Wow. Looking very powerful in that match. Low, uh, Low lost his jump a lot of times. Uh, and Yashi was just finding these big punishes. He saw some really good neutral play from Low. Uh, great awareness and spacing and not falling into too many of Yashi's traps, but just things like that are so tough when you fall into that up tilt. Yak Low showing just how difficult it is to replicate what Kiro is able to do. The jabs, catching him, trying to go to the ledge there. This punish game from Yashi. Whenever Lowe's in a disadvantageous situation, Yashi's just all over him. 
And what do you think about low going all Pika here? Do you think it's worth giving the Falcon a shot? Uh, if he's been playing Pikachu the whole weekend, he has been. I think all Pikachu has no what Falcon I've seen. warm up. Then I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah. The if thing you do, it's it's kind of like conceding that the other person is stronger than you, and they can just beat you in the Pikachu Ditto. Yeah. The thing about it is that Yashi has a Kirby as well. Yeah. So even if he was able to win a game by switching to Falcon, Yashi would be able to switch to Kirby. So he'd be forced to switch back and play right. another Pikachu Ditto to avoid that. I think the, the Falcon Vic would only really be like a last ditch effort for Low here. Like I wanna try to win a game. Yeah, if he lost this game really badly. Is it is it even worth it uh, compared to just trying to stick it out with Pika when you know you're gonna you're going to have to play Pika Ditto again at some point in the set? Yeah. Yashi here kind of giving Low a lot of second chances using that stale Nair as a follow-up, using Nair instead of back air, and then down tilting butts. Low, not able to make much of it. Yashi using that cool angle, that diagonal away and yeah. back. Something I really associate with the Peruvian players. Right. Uh, Alvin has used that uh, to great success in top eights in the past. And Yashi, it's kept him alive. Kept him alive many times against Kiro and also keeping him alive against uh, against Low. That tech in though, very dangerous. Low not quite able to punish. Gets a bit of damage. Catches him trying to jump to the top platform though, but not quite able to follow. And it feels like Lowe's punishes just don't quite go where he needs them. He gets a few hits. Yeah, it's so difficult to, to catch that opening that leads to all the damage, especially against a player of Yashi's caliber. His positioning in the neutral game just almost doesn't allow Lowe to find the meaningful uh, openings to really get that damage going. It's keeping it pretty close this game, though. It's looking a lot better than the first one. Low is very much a player who takes his time to figure out the opponent and adapt and adjust through the course of his set. Yeah, he's a very smart player. Yes. Someone who knows a lot about his opponent's habits, for sure. Big on adaptation. Ooh, that nice pivot up tilt there for Yashi. But he goes for another up air instead of back air. I wonder if that's an input error. It felt like after the pivot up tilt, he just needed a bear. Seemed like maybe Yashi just felt that he could extend the combo. Yeah, a little unnecessary. Well, fighting off the ledge with the up air, but it's not enough percent, and Yashi is just able to grab him out of it. Yeah, great awareness there from Yashi, knowing that sometimes getting hit doesn't actually matter. You can just ignore it. Yashi here up two stocks to one. But low starts a bit of a combo. Can he get any sort of edge guard here? He can. Oh, Chases yeah. him across the stage with a jab grab. Not the safest of upbeats from, from Yoshi there. Yeah, might felt a little pressured. And there he actually got the yeah, ledge yeah. cancel on but the Lowe top platform. Ready. But just uh, kind of ran at low immediately. Yeah, low attacked the spot that Yoshi wanted to be immediately after edge canceling. Exactly. Yeah, That's really good awareness right there from low. He seemed jumping into that position again. That time recognizing Yoshi did not get the ledge cancel. Was oh, anybody capitalized fully? And it seems like Yashi kind of struggles with these positions. Well, oh, just as I say that, he finds the up air, and that'll give him the grab. And oh, chases him nair. off with the nair. Tries to catch him. I think he's going to put low into a pretty compromising spot. He's able to get the edge cancel on the top platform. Yeah, both these guys are so good at that edge cancel. And Yashi just runs Ooh, off the stage yeah. at him. Let's get up attack for it, but great up B once again. Taking that ledge when it's available to him. Low jumping at him. Who finds that grab? Yashi, it seems like his opponents are just getting those grabs out on him at crucial yeah. moments. We saw Kiro find a ton of them. And yeah, Low they, able they, to do it as well. They both dashed in at the same time, but Low was just quicker on the trigger with the grab. And Low finally misses that ledge cancel on the top left. Yeah. Goes for it again and misses again, and Yashi able to build some damage. And now we see that reverse situation. This is where you have to be so careful if you're low. You don't want to play this game that Yashi's trying to entice you into. Fighting him there on the ground where he has that grab option. Oh, Lower. finds a fastball yeah. up air. Very Great opening, play. but we yeah, had no follow-up. That was really a huge opening, and Ooh. low played so well to get it. But there's just no that's, follow up. That's something that Yashi was going for quite a bit in game one, that landing on the very corner of the stage and then up tilting the jump in for Pikachu. A weird up to work that time and off of that situation. Play yeah. just continues in Yashi's favor. Yeah, Yashi corners low and low 
Maybe does a slight misinput there on the up B. Sticking, of course, with the Pikachu. Lowe was looking very tense after that loss, by the way. Definitely feeling the pressure from this Pikachu. When you're in this position being down 0-2 in a Pikachu Ditto, there's just so much left to do if you're going to win the set. It's so daunting just mentally dealing with that pressure of being in this 0-2 position against such a strong opponent. But as I said earlier, Lowe, a very, very good player at making those adjustments and figuring out what he needs to do as the set progresses. Who goes low? Yeah, he goes really low, pretends like he's gonna do that fast upbeat to the ledge. Yashi gets in position to cover and then low goes high instead. Very tricky and deceptive recovery there. And that's a cool thing to do, you know, instead of trying to uh, mix up and, and do a unique angle, he does a pretty standard angle, but in a really unusual way that his opponent won't be ready for. A nice call out there on the recovery as well. Just has the one option, and he went for such a steep angle there uh, that he wasn't able to get the second up beat, but probably wouldn't have made a difference. Low is definitely ready to cover that. Look at that call out grab, catching him jumping off of the ledge. Low starting to become aware of the timings that Joshi is using to get out of these pressure situations. Yoshi finds a grab, but it looks like he even he wasn't ready for it. Does a forward throw by accident. Low getting a punish. Yoshi immediately turning around and nice tech chase there yeah. with the dare. Just and now can he find this edge guard? Falls Low. out, Low going high with the nair. Yeah, Low got the shield out there, but uh immediately dropped or some jumped or something and Yoshi was able to call out that timing with a frame trap. Ooh, these fastball dares, or shield drop dares rather, coming out from top platform there from Yoshi. But the up air just barely misses. That's always frustrating when that happens. Looks like it should cover the space in front of you, but it just yeah. doesn't. A great Lowe's. read on the up B from low there. He went a little bit too deep into the stage and got an angle on the upper he wasn't expecting. Hit. Low getting some grabs. Damage is building up. And this game is looking incredibly He's even. In the corner again. Yoshi has been contesting the ledge a lot more this set with those down tilts. Gotta be so careful jumping around that. The up air from the ledge. He tries yeah. to shield stop to do the tech chase, but messes it up. And Yoshi gets the back throw. And you can tell Yoshi thought that back throw killed. He actually ran away. Realizes it doesn't and is forced to try to chase low down. Both these guys living at very high percents. So the challenge is who can secure the stock? It will be low, and after securing it, can he build any additional percent here? Yeah, this is such in a this tough disadvantageous to situation with in terms of the percentage, and he can oh, find that late dare so smart. A little bit late, but he continues to punish anyway. Getting 71% damage on this Pikachu, calling out that up once again. How do you respond to the second up B is the thing Lowe has not figured out yet. He's been calling out the up to the platform and just unable to get more than up air off of that. Joshi finding that back air. Gonna take the stock from Lowe. He's chasing him all over the place with invincibility. Finally finding something. Look at that roll. Ooh, calls him Yoshi. out, yeah. Joshi trying to go to top platform. Low all over him, looking really good this oh, time. He loves those delayed aerials. Oh yeah, him and Kira both do those whenever the opponent's on the side platform. And Yashi not able to escape it, now down a clean stock himself. Something Low has been getting so much is those get up attack call outs on the ledge to send the other Pikachu off of the stage. I think I've seen that from Low multiple times this set, and I don't really remember seeing it much in the last one. It seems like Low is just a little shaky with those tech chase those though. He keeps messing them up in, in slight ways, failing to get the grab immediately, or just dashing a little slow. Good recovery from Low. Found himself off stage when he wasn't expecting it. Able to snag the ledge, but despite Huge that, combo yeah. here coming out from Yashi. And can he get the edge guard? Oh, Goes for the up smash. Nice DI. Oh, an interesting angle from Low. Look at that. He did the perfect up B to get the, the short landing lag. But uh, the second up B that came afterwards was a little bit too risky, and Yoshi was able to chase that one down. Even the stock kind of, we'll see if Lowe is able to do something here. This is his tournament stock on the line right now. Yeah, this is losers. 
Whoever loses this goes home and low. Wants to prove it's not over yet for him in this bracket. Needs to take this stock. 80%. Yashi trying to get something started with it with these forward-facing up airs could be such a powerful combo out, starter. Putting out so many jumping aerials. Finally takes a break to stand on the ground on up tilt. Big up air catch. Yashi's in the corner. But Lo isn't able to find anything right now. He's being very, very cautious. Yeah, these forward-facing up airs working well from Yashi, building up a bit of percent. Yeah, now he, he definitely can. Oh, that's oh, such catch. a good up tilt. He hit him so far away, though. He couldn't get a very long punish. Oh, and oh, low! Missing the upbeat to the ledge. What an unfortunate way to go out. Yeah, it really looks like he was starting to come into his own in that game. Yeah, that game the looks so much more better. And more competitive as it went on. What a heartbreaker. He jumps. The thing about that jump is he wasn't able to jump diagonally above the ledge. He was at like a very weird angle uh, relative to the ledge.